Hey, what is up all you creative string players? Jacob back here with you for another edition of electricstringplayer.com and the pickup test. And today, I'm going to be running down my favorite YouTube pages that review effects pedals. You know, over the past couple of months, every video that we've done about effects has contained a disclaimer that we don't want to reinvent the wheel and there's already a million great YouTube pages that are already done very well um, by guitar players and some bass players as well that demo uh, pretty much every type of effect under the sun. But this creates a problem, right? Because with so much content online, it can be really difficult to sort through the noise and find what you're looking for. So the most important thing to be aware of here is that each of these tone gurus have very specific musical tastes and specialties, and their sites really tend to reflect that. So even if they offer a bunch of different types of segments from reviewing uh, a famous player's pedal board or um, doing uh, reviews of specific types of effects or doing history lessons or talking about accessories, the truth is, is that most of them only have a very specific thing that they do really well, where that content is extremely valuable. And so what I thought I would do is, is take you through um, some of my favorite sites by categories, kind of break this down into specific categories to help you organize and find what you're looking for. And as a bonus, I'm even going to link some of my favorite examples from each of these creators' pages. First, let's start with the category of educators. So these are sites that are not necessarily dedicated to showing you the latest and greatest pedal or running down every single feature so that you can hear it in extreme detail, but are more about helping you learn how to use, say, a delay, or how do you dial in a reverb tone in a generic way, or what are some concepts you can use to go about stacking gain or overdrive pedals. In other words, these educators are offering principles and concepts to help you better understand the gear that you have and generally master different classes and types of the effects that are out there. So kicking off the educator category, we have That Pedal Show. This is one of the most popular uh, pages on YouTube. They have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Uh, Dan and Nick, uh, I believe they're from England, or I think Dan might be from Australia. All those accents confuse me. But the point is, is that That Pedal Show is truly uh, an excellent resource um, for general effects education. What you need to know about these guys is that they are old school um, blues and rock dudes. So you're not going to find them reviewing um, multi-effects units very much. Uh, they, I, Dan in particular doesn't have a lot of patience for you know, doing a lot of editing or whatever, so you're not going to find them necessarily messing with a lot of, you know, crazy um, uh, digital uh, modeling stuff, and their tastes really are in that blues rock world. So, you know, if you want to hear about, you know, you know, the coolest, you know, analog effects on the market, um, some of their reviews can also be really fun and they have great personalities, but in general you want to go to these guys mostly uh, for their educational segments. Uh, some of my favorite ones uh, include their uh, one hour tutorial on understanding uh, how to power your pedal board. I mean this was an absolute tour de force um, with very, very easy to understand uh, concepts uh, that whether you're just putting together your first pedal board or you're a professional can really save you a ton of time and answer a lot of questions. Uh, everything is beautifully filmed and they have a great personality and are good at keeping things very, very simple and even funny. Um, so I would highly recommend uh, that video. Another video in this same uh, general realm that I really like uh, are their uh, effects tips. So they'll do something about 10 creative uses of reverb, uh, eight creative uses of delay, um, and those were hugely inspirational to me um, and uh, really, really inspired um, my upcoming ambient 
uh, string series that we're going to be uh, releasing, uh, how to use ambient effects uh, uh, on the site uh, that's going to be coming up very soon. So being old school guitar and amplifier kind of dudes means that they don't really know a lot about acoustic amps or acoustic guitar pedals. They recently did a two-part segment about uh, acoustic instruments that I was really excited about, or acoustic amplification I should say, uh, and it was awful. Uh, they're, they just have a really rudimentary knowledge, like most of the sites I'm going to mention, uh, outside of you know that blues rock, electric guitar kind of world. So for those of us string players, if you're interested in the newest acoustic preamp pedal or acoustic amplifier, this is not going to be the best site for you. Number two is Colin and his CS Guitars YouTube page. Colin is, I believe, Scottish. I don't know what's up with all of these guys from across the pond knowing their stuff, but they do. And his site is nowhere near as big as the pedal show. As all of you guys probably know in YouTube, the most popular pages, just like the most popular artists, are rarely the best. Um, but this guy really knows his stuff. Again, is extremely funny. And while the production value isn't quite as high as that pedal show, the informational value is off the charts. Really, really good. Um, Colin um, also has some really great uh, uh, episodes that have to do with um, gear and accessories related to effects pedals. My absolute favorite show that he's done um, deals with uh, different types of connectors or hardwired uh, connectors. Now that may seem like a very boring topic, but he knows so much and his information is again very practical and easy to understand and can save you a lot of time and in the case of that episode saved me a lot of wear and tear on my pedals. Now the one thing with Colin is that he's very much geared toward the metal and hard rock world um, so if you're interested in that um, there's going to be even more great information on there for you. You know, if you want to learn about the difference between class A, B versus class uh, D amplification, or you want to know about how to find the right patch cable, this guy really, really has his stuff together. So check him out. Last but not least is Rhett Scholl. Now, Rhett Scholl is pretty new on the scene. I think he's just been making videos on YouTube for about a year or so. But his videos are really, really beautifully shot, really beautifully produced. And in the case of his educational videos, he's got a cool one about uh, creative uses uh, for delays and for modulation uh, that I really, really like and thought was really inspiring. Um, he can be an excellent teacher and has some really cool ideas. Now, he's more coming from the player side, so uh, a lot of the time his videos can be lacking in um, depth and in really thinking things out um, as, as a teacher. Uh, I don't think he's strong as strong as the other two I mentioned, uh, but again, his videos are very beautiful to look at, and when it comes to his uh, tips videos in terms of using effects, really, really good. In the case of his site, I would try to avoid um, uh, any interview stuff that he does, and probably also when he tries to do shootouts um, of one type of gear versus another, a lot of the time there's not a lot of meat on the bone there. So just be aware that uh, when it comes to what Rhett does well, I think he's a real specialist. Um, and again, I'll link my favorite videos of his down below. The next category of effects channels are the historians. Now, these are the guys that give you a broad overview of how distortion pedals developed over the years, or what are the real differences between different types of wah pedals in different eras. And while some of this can get a little bit nerdy, I find it's really, really helpful to understand this stuff, just to get my head wrapped around how this gear worked and a basic language uh, for understanding what I might be buying or what I might be reviewing. And there are a couple of guys that do this extremely well and in a really entertaining fashion. And I firmly believe that just like we have music history 
in the, our present day conservatories, and a lot of us learn a little bit about the history of the bow and the famous makers like Stradivarius and things like that. If you want to get into this world, I think it's really important, just basic literacy, uh, to know about some of this stuff. So it should come as no surprise that some of the top YouTube pages in this category are created and curated by boutique effects pedal manufacturers. You know, the guys that have probably taken apart thousands of uh, distortion pedals and have rebuilt thousands more. My absolute favorite in this category is Joshua Heath Scott from JHS pedal fame. Now, any of you guys that have ever spent time looking for an effects pedal have probably come across some of Joshua's work. There, there's some of the finest sounding uh, distortion and also time-based and modulation effects on the market. And boy, does this guy know his stuff. Uh, he is an absolute guru uh, and a fountain of knowledge. And some of his um, episodes on, you know, the history of distortion pedals, what were the first guitar effects, um, uh, are so incredibly well done, well produced, and clear. I really feel like this guy, just watching his videos, is like getting a degree um, in tone. It's just completely amazing, uh, and he is fantastic. Now, he's not a great guitar player, and, you know, when he demos things, uh, you can kind of get the basic idea, but he's much more interested in helping you understand uh, what's going on inside of these pedals and where they came from and how they got here today. The second guy in this category that I would like to recommend, also uh, an incredible uh, effects pedal maker, is Brian Wampler's site. Now, Brian's stuff uh, is not quite as well produced. A lot of it is kind of coming from his studio, but... He also does an excellent job as a historian, and I also love Brian's myth-busting series, where he has episodes on things like, are there really genre-specific drive pedals, or the myth of gain in relation to clipping. This is super practical stuff for gigging musicians, and is an amazing resource that you should check out. One thing I really appreciate about both Scott and Brian's pages is the fact that even though they both have their own highly successful effect pedal companies and brands, they freely explore all of the famous classic and even contemporary brands of effects pedals out there. Whether it's a classic tube screamer or budget pedals by Behringer, you can really tell that these guys are enthusiasts themselves, not just from a maker's perspective, but that they're also collectors and players. And that's just really cool. For our next category, we have demo guys. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Here we're talking about uh, usually guitar players, usually virtuoso guitar players, um, who are going to show you what these, what these pedals are capable of. A lot of the time, they're such great players that they can pretty much make anything sound good, uh, which, can, <laughs> which can be an issue unto itself. But I want to cover a few of these guys uh, that I really like. Um, and again, in this category, it's really important to note that each one of these dudes generally uh, has a type of music that they're into, uh, and therefore uh, a type of pedal uh, or a class of um, uh, gear that they tend to review. So starting out, uh, Pete Thorne. Uh, Pete Thorne, like uh, that, that pedal show, is one of the most popular YouTube channels uh, in this category. If you just put, you know, effects pedals, I'm sure he'd come up in the top two or three. Um, but like that pedal show, I think for the most part, he really deserves this ranking. Uh, he's in the world of, you know, shredder, rock, blues guy, if that's your thing. Uh, he's a virtuoso player. Um, and gives really, really musical uh, demos, uh, I think in almost every case, original compositions uh, that he's just come up with or been inspired by uh, the pedal. And what he likes to say at the beginning of most of these demos is, is I'm just going to play. 
Um, that said, he does give you a really, really excellent rundown of the general features of the unit. Um, and he's good at talking about what makes this unit special and unique and different uh, and some of the unique applications that can be used with it and then he'll actually apply that to uh, his epic demo. Um, and so I really, really like Pete Thorne. Um, he also has um, a few other series. My favorite is, is uh, Tone Secrets um, and those are usually geared around a very specific concept like how Van Halen will use an echoplex uh, before uh, his overdrive to get sort of, you know, an iconic uh, sound uh, from their first album. Uh, or, you know, uh, some basic concepts of how to stack uh, uh, overdrives or how to use a tube screamer and make it sound musical. Um, and these are things that you've been dealing with in your playing. I absolutely would recommend Pete Thorne. He's unbelievable. And he doesn't just do guitar effects. Uh, he also does um, other kind of guitar-related gear from time to time. The next guy uh, is Sean Tubbs. Uh, Sean is kind of a country rock guy. He has a really cool site. And occasionally he'll try to throw in like a, a music tutorial, which are eh, uh, okay. Um, but uh, his core competency is really demonstrating um, stuff that you would expect to be on, you know, a Nashville musician's uh, pedal board. So if you're kind of more into, uh, as a violinist or as a cellist, if you're more into that sound, uh, Sean um, really specializes in a lot of the boutique gear that's out there uh, that kind of exists in that world, which is a very different world than, than Pete's. What really distinguishes the different reviewers in this category is what style they play and what sort of gear uh, they generally review. So Pete Thorne and Sean Tubbs generally uh, review really, really high-end uh, boutique uh, effects pedals, um, single effect pedals. Now, once in a while, you'll see Pete Thorne do a review of you know, uh, a multi-effect or a cheaper unit, but in general his real bread and butter um, is, um, you know, reviewing specific pedals. Um, especially because if you're going to do a deep dive on a multi-effects unit that has hundreds of effects in it, uh, it you would need to do like a five-hour demo song to get through all of the effects. But there is a guy online who I really like uh, named Henning, um, and uh, his site, uh, Epi24, I believe it's called, I'll link to it below, um, is really unique uh, in a couple of ways. First of all, Henning, uh, who isn't as much of a virtuoso as the other two guys I mentioned, uh, and whose personality can be a little bit abrasive, uh, I think he lives in Germany, uh, he produces really high quality demo videos that are extremely in depth. Uh, some of them will be quite long, he'll spend an hour uh, reviewing a multi-effect unit and really, really take the unit through its paces. And another cool thing about Henning is, is that even though I think he specializes in metal because he lives in Europe, uh, he reviews a lot of the European uh, and also a lot of the inexpensive Chinese products by Moore and by uh, Moen and by Joyo. This is like a real specialty of his. And that's a cool thing because a lot of you guys You'll go on to eBay, you'll go on to Amazon, uh, even Guitar Center sells some of this stuff. Um, and a lot of it sounds really freaking good. And he'll review it honestly and he'll shoot it out against, you know, the more expensive, you know, more boutique -y brands uh, so you can hear the difference. He does outstanding work. He did a uh, review of different power supplies uh, with uh, Paul Chalks, the maker of the uh, Chalks power supplies, that was. I just learned so much. It was completely fantastic. A lot of the time, if you're looking for very long, in-depth demos of a multi-effect unit, say the Helix by Line 6 or um, uh, some of the Boss stuff, you'd generally be okay going to the manufacturer's site because a lot of the time they'll have the most documentation. But when it comes to cheaper Chinese stuff, like the Joyo or the Moor or the Moen, they don't produce that type of material. Uh, so that makes Henning's uh, site even more of a great resource, well worth checking out. The last category of pedal videos are widget guys. 
These guys are the ones who specialize in accessories and peripherals related to pedal boards and pedal board building. And for those of you guys that are trying uh, to build your own pedal board and getting into this world, you know that there is a lot of stuff to learn here. And having a guru or two in this category can save you so much time and money and frustration. And my absolute favorite by a country mile is a guy named Alpha Tone Audio. Now, talk about a site that is not popular or famous or well known. I think this guy may have like 200 or so subscribers, which is minuscule compared to all of the other channels we've been talking about. But um, this guy is freaking amazing. Um, whether you want to know about the difference between Velcro and Dual Lock and which one you should choose, uh, different options for securing and fastening your pedals securely onto a pedal board, different aspects of power supplies, wiring, um, anything you can possibly imagine in this world, Alpha Tone Audio has made a beautifully produced incredibly clear video. Of all of the sites I've mentioned, this one might be the most valuable for you. It will save you so much money and time if you're going the pedal board route uh, with your rig. I also want to give Henning from Epi24, who I just mentioned in the previous category, another shout here, because this is really something that he does very well, particularly when it comes to reviewing solderless cables by different manufacturers, especially, again, the cheap uh, manufacturers from China um, that you're usually not going to see reviews or very good reviews or shootouts of. Henning takes the time to really break it down and even compare them again to more expensive brands and that can be very very valuable. It can save you a lot of money if you're considering say wiring up your pedal board with uh, uh, a Chinese brand of solderless cable that is one quarter the price uh, versus, you know, the boutique brand. Uh, and if you're really wondering, wow, is that going to sound as good? What are the differences? Should I save my money? Um, this site is an excellent resource for those types of things. Before I go, I want to mention two more YouTube pages that I've found to be really, really helpful. Premier Guitar Magazine, which I, I think is based in England, has a segment that they put up on YouTube called the Rig Rundown. Now, if you're interested in exactly how Vernon Reed from Living Color uh, gets his tone on a particular song or something like that, this can be really helpful as Premier Guitar visits some of the great guitar players in the world, every different style you can imagine from, again, uh, James Hetfield to uh, Metallica, of course, uh, to uh, jazz guitarist John Schofield, who's one of my favorites, and really, really gets in deep with them uh, right before they're about to do a show or when they're on tour um, about their board. Uh, and the players really, really open up and share their enthusiasm uh, about each pedal and, and, you know, they're demoing it themselves. It's really, really cool, uh, and I'm a big fan of how they do that. Uh, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video, Dan and Mick from That Pedal Show also do this, uh, but I think Rig Rundown does a slightly better job. I also want to recommend some of the acoustic gear reviews that have been done on YouTube by Acoustic Guitar Magazine. Now, a lot of these are not very high production value, um, and uh, the guy who does a lot of the demos uh, is not a particularly interesting uh, dude to watch. But as none of the sites mentioned so far really do acoustic demos at all, and if they do, they're not very good, um, the reviews on acoustic guitar um, are actually well done in terms of the information that you get. So if you're interested in uh, the newest acoustic guitar amp or uh, the newest acoustic preamp, and I know a lot of us string players are, um, that's the best, most consistent resource that I've found outside of our side, of course. Um, and I think it's one of the best things out there uh, in this category. Well, that's it for now. And I hope this video has made it a little bit easier for you to find your next tone guru. And if you think we neglected a great site, please leave the information in the comments section below. We're always learning too, so we would really appreciate that. Also, if you've watched this far in the video, you know that this content is unique and takes a lot of work to put together. 
And as our channel is not monetized, the only way we get any value in return for the time we've put in in creating this content is when you click like and subscribe. So thanks for doing that, and we'll see you next time at electricstringplayer and thepickuptest.com.